7 Traits of a Dark Empath The most dangerous personality type Most of us are aware of the two distinct personality types that appear to be diametrically opposed to one another. On the one hand, we have the sympathetic and caring buddy. On the other, we have the toxic manipulator. Empaths are sensitive to the emotions of others and are prone to becoming overwhelmed in the face of extreme intimacy, criticism, or stimulus. Toxic archetypes, on the other hand, frequently exhibit the dark triad of characteristics psychopathy, narcissism, and Machiavellianism. They have a distorted feeling of superiority and entitlement, exploit and manipulate others, and are frequently seen as cold-hearted cynics. Because these two types appear to be diametrically opposed, it may surprise you to learn that there are people who fit into both categories. These people are known as dark empaths. According to new research, up to one-fifth of the general population may be dark empaths. More research, however, will be required to corroborate those stunning findings. What fascinates me about dark empaths is that they are gentle, sympathetic, and capable of emotional connection, but they are frequently seen as frigid because features from the dark triad bubble to the surface. Let's check if you know somebody who might be a dark empath. Here are seven fundamental characteristics that define this personality type. The first is open behavior. Dark empaths are distinguished by more outgoing, active, and open characteristics. They usually have excellent social skills and can easily explain their point of view or articulate their inner thoughts. Dark empaths are not pushovers, even though they can be gentle and open-minded. Usually, the opposite is true. One significant distinction between an empath and a dark empath is that dark empaths have more cognitive empathy, allowing them to exploit vulnerability rather than encourage connection. Essentially, if they have the opportunity to influence someone, they will usually use it, because exploitation is much easier for individuals who can naturally comprehend the emotional states of others. It's critical to recognize that this is a prevalent attribute and that not all extroverts are dark empaths, so don't start gliding down your outgoing buddies just yet. A dark empath must possess at least three or four of these characteristics. Number 2 Narcissistic and Neurotic Personality Traits Some dark empaths are obvious narcissists, while others conceal their narcissism. In either case, their self-centered tendency makes this personality feature particularly vulnerable. When someone takes things too personally, they are a victim of their own narcissism. Criticism and negativity hurled at them frequently cause grief, and they are also rejection-sensitive. The word no has a sharp edge. The dark empath needs pride to survive, and they may guard it with ignorance or a superiority complex. While they are unlikely to use violence, passive aggressiveness comes naturally to them. This personality type also has neurotic tendencies and may suffer from anxiety, depression, or phobias. These pronounced emotional ups and downs are frequently the outcome of unprocessed emotional distress and trauma. Number 3 They are usually talented. I hope you didn't expect everything about this personality type to be terrible, because dark empaths have extraordinary, and often incomprehensible, inherent abilities. It also helps that they rarely fail to achieve their objectives. These people are generally outstanding leaders, who readily comprehend and connect with others because of their passion and ability to make swift decisions. Number 4 Desire for Power While most individuals like and even seek power, it is a prominent key character attribute of conventional dark triads that prefer to be in command all of the time. Dark empaths differ from typical dark triads in that they demonstrate participatory leadership. That is, they dislike following others yet do not always desire to lead. They will tell you who the boss is, but they aren't as willing to take on all of the obligations that come with the job. Having said that, dark empaths frequently bring out the best in others. When the situation calls for them, they can motivate, inspire, and lead. The end outcome is usually a team that works well together, participates actively, and achieves its objective. Fifth, Emotionally Manipulative Dark empaths are characterized mostly by their remarkable abilities in emotional manipulation, which is what makes them so dangerous. They will not physically harm you, but they will leave profound emotional scars. Empathy is a tool for dark empaths. It assists them in understanding others and obtaining what they desire. And, while each dark empath will employ their tools differently and to differing degrees, they are all effective persuaders, especially when they have a personal purpose in mind. People with this personality type aren't born with the ability to emotionally injure others, but they certainly know how. Number 6 Capable of making others feel guilty Guilt trips are a type of emotional manipulation, and dark empaths are well known for their prowess in this area. While dark triads frequently lack empathy and fail to grasp emotion, dark empaths easily perceive others' emotions, particularly shame and obligation, which serves to fuel the guilt trip when used. To the evil empath, empathy is simply a tool for getting people to do what they desire. Essentially, dark empaths rarely use their sympathetic capacity to express the love and affection that empaths are known for. Number 7 Enjoy Malicious Humor Dark empath's superiority complex is like a fire that needs fuel to blaze. If you mistakenly quench a small portion of the flames, the dark empath will frequently pour fresh fuel with a burning fury. However, rather than gasoline, these personality types enjoy malicious humor, especially jokes that play on the vulnerabilities and fears of others. They like laughing at individuals they perceive to be beneath them, 
and their judgments are frequently prejudiced. If someone else is in agony, they may take advantage of it. When a dark empath wants to feel superior, cruel comments and put-downs are the finest fuel to elevate their spirits. This form of humor is described by Freud as tendentious, the worst possible, and basically harmful. The black empath may appear to be a contradiction or a new and rare type at first, but if you look closely, you'll notice that there are dark empaths all around us, and they've been there for a long time. Consider movies and literature. You'll see that dark empaths have existed for hundreds of years. They've even been recognized. People with this personality type are frequently cast as a mysterious and sinister figure who is revealed to have a heart after all. Consider the high school bad boy, the vampire who does not drink blood, or the thief who steals to help the poor. It's up to you whether you think the dark empath is good or bad, but one thing is certain. They have a strong personality that may easily build and demolish. Do you know someone who is a dark empath? Is it someone close to you? Please let us know in the comments. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that we can continue to make them. For more videos like this, hit the SUBSE Rive button and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Thank you for tuning in!